Alright, check this out. Something I've never seen before. Look at that. Holy cow. It's like the next evolution of the hobby. <laughs> What was your inspiration behind doing a cab over? Well, I when I, my first vehicle was a 1957, I mean 1947 Ford pickup. Okay. And so consequently, I had a choice of, uh, of uh, either doing a 57 Chevy truck to pull in, or and I thought, well, I think this is more closer to the age of my cars, you know. So that's that's and then I like cab overs anyway, so you know, it's kind, yeah. I thought it was kind of neat. But the main thing was that in, uh, uh, back in the uh, early 60s, I, my first car was. A, 1950, a 1947 Ford pickup. Okay. And so that's the reason. They're, they're hard to come by. This is, uh, this, uh, the Fords are hard to come by because uh, Ford designed this model in 1942 through 47, but you will not find 43, 44, and 45 because of the war. Okay. See? And so they had the 46s, but very few of the 46s, and then more of the 47s. But, you know, there are very few of those, so they they're disappeared. And it took me a long time. I, there was, uh, I had found uh, one for $4,500, but two, there were two together, you can make one out of it. And then I found another one for uh, uh, $5,500, and that's a lot of money for, you know, you got to do all the right, work right, on right. it. And so I procrastinated on that, and I found one for $20,000, one for twenty five, and one for $30,000. Now, one for $30,000 had a lot of, all the stuff to, for you to put together. I said, that's too much money as it is, you know. So then uh, I had let all my friends know that, and so they went uh, to the internet a lot, and finally one came around, hey, guess what, another one just came on, out of Alton, Montana. And, and so I called the guy right away from the farmer, and the old farmer said, well, at least I wasn't ready to get rid of it. And I said, but I put it in the internet because I thought it was going to take forever to sell. And he says, and he says, I said, well, I'd like to buy it. And he said, what do you ask for? He said, 65. I says, uh, can we deal with that? He said, you know what, I'm using it right now. So he says, if, uh, if you let me use it to the end of summer, to, to around labor time, it says labor day time. It says, and now you let me have the flatbed on it. I'll, I'll sell it to you for 45. It says, it's a deal. And then, uh, and uh, right before Labor Day, a week before Labor Day, he called me and said, hey, Your truck's ready. I said, Okay, fine, I'll be up there. So I took another truck and trailer to haul it. I mean, top speed was 50 miles an hour. It'll haul a house, but it will not go fast. <laughs> right, right. So I went ahead and got it. I got there, and, the, and there was another guy. I didn't know that the guy was going to sell it, so he went over there and, and made him the offer. He said, no, it's already got sold. And he said, but when the guy gets here, I'll, I'll let him know. And he says, so, he says, tell him I will give him the 65 for it, just the way you're selling it to him for 45. And he said, okay. He says, and he had a, a 51 right over there. And, and he says, you know, if you sell this to that guy for, for 65, he says, I'll sell you down for 45, you know, so that guy's going to give you another $2,000, so it means you're buying it for 25. But that's not the idea. So the idea is this is the model I want, you know. Yeah. And so yeah, I ended up with it, you know. So he just a friend of mine, the friend of mine that came over rushing over to tell me that, he said, you know what, I really like that. I really didn't fix it too well, so now I really like it. He said, I'm gonna get me one. So okay, fine. It took him a year, and he could never find one. So I ended up buying a Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of Chevys and yeah, yeah. Nationals and uh, what's the other one? Uh, International Chevy and Dodge. Okay. There was one, and I almost gave into a Chevy, you know. But I'm gonna stick to my guns, and I finally. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have to stick to my guns too long, probably a couple of months, but I finally got one. Yeah, well, wow, it's a good thing that you didn't buy it two or three years from now. They, I would have never bought one. You know? So what's in the what's the engine? Uh, uh, Cummins. Okay. With a six-speed Allison. So you have it, Cummins diesel six-speed Allison. Uh, is it V8? Uh, at uh, straight six. Straight six. Okay. Yeah. Six cylinder. Yeah. Um, and and, uh, and I end up putting it on I end up putting it on uh, on uh, 2000 uh, 2004 F450. Oh, that's the frame. Okay. The frame and so you took the cab action. and you took the cab and put it right on. Yeah. Okay. For the simple reason that the frames were identical. Oh, really? Identical from '47. I mean, well, probably older than that. To the new ones, exactly the same. So you just can set the cab on and just bolt it so right on. Not that well, no. It take a lot of work to get them there. Did, okay. You know, all right. A lot of work to it. You get it there. But the thing about this is that uh, this chassis was uh, uh, this frame was uh, double frame and the other was single frame. You know. 
And so I said, well, you know, and then the whole front end was already on there. So, hey, there's no need for, I, other than turning the, the steering box up, you know, it's got to go straight right. up. And it was so simple, that part of it. So that saved me a lot of work, you know. And of course, uh, I had to shop four foot off the back, you know, right, you know that's right. how long it was. Yeah. But it was the same length as the other truck as, as a original frame because, I mean, they had a flatbed on it. You know, so. so you copy the trailer off of some of the old models? Yeah, I looked everywhere and I went out over this country looking for one and they would tell me, oh, there's one here. And they told me there was two on Kimball. There ain't nothing there. You know, the guy went by there, another gone. Another one, I had, I had gone, another one, he was positive, it was there in uh, New Mexico, uh, Santa Rosa, Mexico. And I went over there and said, behind that restaurant over there somewhere. Okay, so I go over there, be blind one night, can't see the other. So I go over there, I said, I can see it, so jump in the car. So we went and said, it's gone, <laughs> you know. So I ended up buying a model, okay. I bought a little model, and I said, "Well, this is this is the shape of it." So I ended up copying it, you know, because I wanted to be of that of the era, era too, you know, sure. era. So, how are finding parts for the cab? Is there availability for that, or did you no. have to really? No, uh, I had to end up see that the top piece over there where it's supposed to be for checking out the the, the radiator, the water. Yeah, I had to hand make that one. I made up several pieces. All that piece along the bottom there, that black piece right below the blue. Yeah, that piece yep. all the way around. I had to end up making that because you know they were they this cabs here they had about oh 16 to a quarter of an inch all the way around where the floor did not and so all that dirt went in there and oh, okay. rusted it completely. You know? Yep, yep, yep. So I had to end up making all the no, you had to make everything for it. You won't find no parts. For it. What was the hardest part to mod for you? Anything stand out? No, not really. Not really. You know, I like to do that. So it to me oh, it's just fun. It's just fun altogether. The I know the 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 sleeper. The sleeper on it, I could not find one that size, so I had to buy the smallest what I could find, and I still ended up taking 11 inches off the center and 18 inches off the bottom to okay. make it, you know, coincide because I did not want to go uh, no more than what the wheels are, and so which is approximately 20 inches from the frame out. And then, of course, I had to uh, special make the tanks, you know, because uh, the smallest I could find was 24 inches, and I needed 20, you know, so. So what was your time frame, start to finish? Uh, on that, I got 600 hours. Yeah. Okay. 600 hours, so that's what I got in it. And what do you what do you have in a trailer, if you would mind going from, like, the top? Going to... This top one here is a 64 Chevy sedan. Okay. The next one is a 1930 Chevy Coupe. Okay. The next one is a 1932 Ford Roaster. And then the front one over here is a 1932 Chevy delivery panel. And then the back one is a 1929 Chevy pickup. Yeah. So a bunch of Chevys told by a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> the irony there is just, <laughs> people are going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> That's what my son said, because I like that truck. Like I was going to pull it with a 57 Chevy, you know. But I, I, I nostalgic for me, you know, I had, that was my first vehicle, you know. So I, I ended yeah. up with this. And I don't regret it. I like Ford's and Chevys, both of them, you know. So I just, uh, because they're cheaper than getting the Packard or getting the, Yeah, yeah, than hard to find. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. You know, sure. Uh, and then for the price, you know, and I, you can't buy them for too expensive because you got to put a lot of money into them anyways, you know. So I know that like the panel there, the guy has, we started off at $3,500. I finally bought it for eighteen, you know, for $1,800, you know, so a lot of work to put into them. A lot yeah. of, it takes a lot of money. And, and you said it was a couple hours to load and unload? Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, it, yeah. It, it takes me, it takes me, well, now that I've got them all, it takes me about approximately three hours to load and unload. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it takes time. Yeah, the only the only thing on on this trailer that I not put from the original equipment was the hydraulics. I mean, back in those days, they had a crank with a cable, <laughs> and you did this to lower the thing. Well, that's when men were men, right? Yeah, they, right. they had arms the size of you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's like, and actually, the whole mess is a uh, uh, remote, you know. It's got a winch up here if you need winch, and it's all remote. The, all the hydraulics are remote too. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I guess we get it. Well, is it wiser or lazier? I don't know. <laughs> it's, I think it's One wiser. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. You do it all by you. You know, I get in there like that. I get, I get the, the car side from the bottom and then I get it all set up and then I just let it, the, there's some ramps that go in the back that, that you yep, hook on yep, there yep. and it comes down and then you drive off and then and then you come back up you get on the next one get back there push the button you back down again and off you know you don't have to get up and down you know, just, uh, that's, yeah, that's awesome I don't know if it's wiser or lazy one, one or the other so.